Hi, everybody. It's George Washington here, the first president of the United States of America. And I'm here to talk to you about money today. My favorite subject in the whole wide world. Money, 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 money. Now let's review some of our bills. The first one you're going to see here, oh yeah, that's my favorite. It's looking so good. Look at this one. It's the best one in the world. Yeah, because I have me on it, the first president, George Washington. And look, the bills are nice enough to write the value on the bill. So here we see this is a $1 bill, and it's also written out as $1. Next to that, we have $5 bill, written out as $5. And then we have the $10 bill, written out as $10. And finally, the $20 bill, written out as $20. You may find more bills out there, but these are the most common. Now let's take a look at coins. The first one we have here is the penny. It's easy to identify because it's a different color. It's also nice enough to write the value on the coin. It's one cent. It can also be written out as one cent. And this is our penny. Next, let's look at the nickel. The nickel is worth five cents, also written out as five cents. And let's now look at the dime, such a wonderful dime. It is also written on the coin as one dime. This is valued at ten cents and also written at ten cents. Now, oh my, this is my favorite coin of all. It's the best coin in the world because it has me, the first president of the United States of America, George Washington. Oh, that's such a good looking coin. Look at that face. This one is called the quarter. It is valued at 25 cents, also written as 25 cents. Okay, now let's practice counting up a big old pile of coins, pile of coins. But that's kind of messy here. Let's see if we can get this organized. Oh, wow, much, much better. First row, we have the quarter, my favorite one. These are valued at 25 cents each. So we're going to write this out three times. And then we need to add these together to get their value, and that is 75 cents. Next, we have the dime, which is valued at 10 cents. And we're going to write this out three times, and we can skip count. So it's 75, 85, 95. And then what do we do at 95 plus 10? We go to the next dollar, so it's going to equal $1.05. In our next column, we have the wonderful nickel. And the nickels are valued at five cents. So we're going to write that out two times, five. And then we can skip count again. So that's 105, 110, and then 115. And last, we have the wonderful penny. And they're valued at one cent each. So we just need to add those. So it's 115, 116, and then 117 is our total of the pile of coins. Good job. Now let's try one with a mixture of coins and bills. Oh, that's so messy. Let's get that organized. There we go. It looks so much better now. And wait, we should pause a minute and take a look at what's on top. My favorite again, the $1 bill. Such a beautiful man on that $1 bill. The first president of the United States of America, George Washington. Now, to add the bills, all we need to do is add the numbers. It's 5 plus 1 plus 1. And that's going to equal 7, so we have $7. And now the quarters are 25 cents each, so that's 25. And then 50 cents in quarters. Let's add one dime. Remember, that's 10 cents, so 10 plus 50 is 60. And then we can skip count, 65, 70, 75. And now we just need to add our pennies, and that makes 76, 77, 78, and 79. So we have $7.79. Amazing. Great, great work. Now, it's your turn. You try.